Welcome. We are going to study multiplication of whole numbers and properties around it. For multiplication, we use uh, the sign, the little cross, like this, or we just use this, or even a central dot. We call it central dot. The result from multiplication is called product. And basically, multiplication is a form of addition. If I said multiply 4 by 2, you will write 4 by 2 and you will read it 4 times 2, which basically means add 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So you add in 2's 4 times. So I will have, you will have 4, 6, 8. So 4 times 2 equal 8. It will be necessary to memorize some basic multiplications. So if you want to help yourself, you can reproduce this table. This is the multiplication sign. You start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. You do the same thing here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, you do this until 9, right? Here I stop at 7, but you can continue to 9 or whatever number you want. And you fill it up. 0 times 0 is 0. Um, 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. 0 times any number is 0, so everything here will be 0. 1 times any number is the same number, so I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is uh, 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 7 is 14. And, uh, Fill the rest up and try to memorize it as much as you can. It will help you be fast at some operation. So what about multi-digit multiplication? We line them the same way we did previously, one on top of the other. But uh, for multiplication, I'll suggest that you put the number with small digits at the bottom. So suppose if I have 21 times 7, here, I have for the 20 have one, I have two digits, and for the seven, I have one digit. So what I will do is I'll put the one with two digits on top and the single digit, digit at the bottom. It's not a rule, but it helps facilitate the multiplication. So once you do that, you take the bottom numbers at uh, each position and you multiply at each number on top. So you take the number 7, you multiply by 1, you put the result here, which is 7. You take the number 7 again, you multiply by 2, and here you have 14, you write it down. That will be your answer. Another example, let's do 167 times 2. 7 times 2, that's 14. We write the 4, and we keep the 1 for now. We move to the second operation we do 6 times 2 that's 12 now we add 12 to the 1 that we have here that's 13 we put 3 right there and we keep the 1 we come here we do 2 times 1 that's 2 plus the 1 that we left here that's 3 so the answer is 333 let me redo it 167 times 2 right I do 7 times 2 I have 14 I write 4 and I keep the 1 somewhere here because I will use it later I do 6 times 2 that's 12 plus the 1 that I left before that's 13 I write the 3 and uh, I keep the 1 of the 13 here because I will use it again. And now finally, 2 times 1, that's 2, plus the 1 that I had over there, and that's 3, and my final answer is 333. 3. 
one more example let's do 201 times 23 first take the 3 multiply by 1 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 0 is 0 3 times 2 is 6 now we move to the next digit and we repeat the same thing 2 times 1 is 2 but now we move we don't start here we don't put it here we start putting it right here so 2 the 2 times 0 that's 0 2 times 2 that's 4 now we add what we do have here 3 plus nothing that's 3 0 plus 2 2 6 plus 0 6 0 plus 4 4 and this will be our answer for that before we continue try this by yourself 174 times 23 what will be the answer find it and put it in the comment section now let's see the properties zero times any number any whole number x is equal to zero so if i put zero times three i should have zero if i put zero times 20 i should have zero zero times 800 i should have zero one time any number x should give me the same number x. if i do one time 20 i should have 20 back i have one time 44 should have 44 back if i have one times 1923 i should have 1123 back so we can say that one is a multiplication identity right so also let's talk about commutativity if i say five times four I should have 20 and if i say four times five i should have 20 also so multiplication is commutative what about associativity if i do two times one times four i should have this two times one should give me two two times four should give me eight right let's do here two times one times four i switch the position of the parentheses should i have the same result okay let's see I first have to do what is inside the parentheses. I have 4. And I will do 2 times 4. And I will have 8. So 8 equals 8. Even though we switch the position of the parentheses. So we can conclude that multiplication is associative. So associative. So for the next topic, we will be discussing power of whole numbers. Don't forget to like subscribe share comment and i see you